I understand what my wing packing team was telling me. This is the way to the taxi. <laughs> I'm a little suspicious that they're right, <laughs> but I don't have any phone signal. So it's the best information I have. I was hiking. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to figure it out. No phone signal. Little Oscar just kind of pointed in a direction. And you're like, Oscar, I need yeah. you to understand this. Me llamo es Mateo. Me llamo es Oscar. Si, si. Oscar, I need you to listen to me because it's important. Me llamo es Mateo. You got to get me out of here, Oscar. My name is Matthew. <laughs> what I did is I went to Valle de Bravo, Mexico. So it is about two hours outside Mexico City. I think Central Mexico is like the cartel area of Mexico, not the um, not the edges, which are like the resort areas of Mexico, mm -hmm. right in the middle where I was. Um, cartel activity. I didn't notice any of it, to be honest. Uh, I, I, I suspect it's overblown. But what it is, is um, it's well known for being a good place to go paragliding. And, and quickly, this is the deal. I go paramotoring. Everyone knows that. You have an engine on your back to help you gain altitude. Paragliding is the same thing with no engine. So you jump off the side of a mountain. And mm -hmm. you would think the sun heats the air, but it doesn't. The sun passes right through the air. That's why it's cold at the top. What the sun does is it heats the ground. The ground heats the air. And then you get these really super mild, invisible tornadoes that we call thermals. And they're rising columns of air. And the paraglider will search out these rising columns of air, gain altitude, fly somewhere else, do it again, fly somewhere else, do it again. I've done That's that in the Mario. Point. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah Mario Kart. Yeah. So, so, Zach, can you show the first video? This is what the launch site looks like. Thank you, Zach, so fast. And th this is basically what I was doing. This isn't me, but this is just like me. Play and uh, so this dude's going to inflate. Look at his wing. Oh, it looks really easy. Jump off the side and fly away. Yeah, now like anybody, he's could, anybody could probably do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a thing where you grabbed onto the bar and it was like the, the plane. So that's the hang plane. gliding. Hang gliding has oh. fallen out of popularity. Um, it's better in a lot of ways. It's faster. It glides farther. So you get more opportunities to find rising air. And you can control your pitch better. But... That hang glider weighs like a hundred pounds. You have to have like a special vehicle that can get to the mm. top. You can't land anywhere. So you can't just like maximize your opportunities to go as far as you can. Instead, you really better land in a good spot. You can't just land in some random farm and mm -hmm. hike your way out because it's not hikeable. And um, people, I, I don't know, it's not as popular as it yeah, was. Knowing like that, I, I never would have imagined that was a hundred pounds. I thought it was like PVC made pipe number, and some but canvas. It's, <laughs> it's not but I also, it's 75, 100, something. Yeah. It's a lot. I would also just say, like, like, I, I always hear about hang gliding accidents. Like, the hang gliding accident is almost like, like, I don't know, Philly cheese steak. Like, they just, those, those, roll, <laughs> those, those words just kind of roll together. Uh, hang gliding accident. Second only, the uh, hang gliding death or hang gliding tragedy. Uh, they, I don't know. Something about those seems dangerous. It, it seems like they almost let anybody do them. Uh, they, they get that, like, instructor guy who, like, gets in doggy position on top of you. Mm. And then, and then you dangle underneath him like some sort of weird suspension set. Prone bone, maybe. No offense, uh, <laughs> and then they. But I've seen instances of like the the poor pastor like coming unhooked. Yeah, and he's like, and he's like hanging, and like. <laughs> Not everybody has the upper body strength to dangle for Who like does? long periods of time. Have, <laughs> do, do you ever do like uh, like like hangs like like I, yeah. I can't think of what you call them, but just you know you it's hold a static on to a hang, yeah, static hang. They I, so are not I, easy. I think I'm above average at that, and by being above average. Over a minute, I think, but I don't you know if I could get to the like finish a flight. Yeah, and you're <laughs> trying to fly. Like this is <laughs> this is how stupid I am. Like the first time. Like I'd seen so many videos of hang gliding where it was just like in the middle of the flight, the guy's like his body's straight back and he's hanging onto the thing. And for some reason, like if I had thought about it rationally, I'd have realized this doesn't make any sense. But I always thought like he's not even strapped to that thing. He's going so fast. His his body's like a windsock and he's just kind of like <laughs> and then I was watching one video where that strap snaps and the guy's just like oh, 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 and I'm like, oh okay, this this doesn't make more you see it would my theory would make sense if this guy was going 
200 miles an hour <laughs> but not uh, 40 so so you went to do some uh paragliding i did and my para friends were like so you're probably researching this like crazy spending all your time finding like where to go and what to do and i'm like what was i supposed to do research i like uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just sending it bro so uh so that's that's pretty much what I did. I I know how to inflate and run off the side of a mountain. I've done that before, so I did that. And then I'm watching all these other people fly around. So like I did that. I'm like oh that that guy over there is going up. Well, I'll go to where he is. And eventually I ran out of other people to model. And um, Zach, can you play the second video with volume? Is this Green where the they is this where the deaths happened? <laughs> Some deaths oh, well, inevitably. Paid in the middle of nowhere. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get back. I saw this farm and oh, I'm no. greeted by a team of professional wing packers. Oh no. Hola. Oh no. <laughs> oh, the great. video fucked up right there. They all wait. No, I love it. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so these guys were so poor. One of them didn't even have shoes. <laughs> and there are thorn bushes everywhere. My wing is stuck in a thorn bush. We spent like it must have been 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes getting that wing. And uh, underneath it are these lines. They're a little like strong kite string. And I don't know how many there are, but say 80 or something. It just seems like a lot. And um, they're helping me get it untangled from the thorn bushes. I've got my multi-tool just like cutting the vegetation, freeing everything. And and me and that, what were there, six kids? Just something worked like at it for like an hour <laughs> like we did after we got it free i had to kite it we had to untangle all the lines because that was crazy um and go to the third video i want to show you I, guys i'm my... sorry i'm sorry just, before just we have to, have to... yeah yeah Kyle, go go ahead. Ahead. i want one too we're on the, <laughs> we're on the same page Woody, uh, after you after the poor shoeless children helped you for an hour to unrig your fifteen thousand dollar play toy on your vacation <laughs> did you Please tell me, give them some money. I tipped them Perhaps five shoes. times the customary amount for uh, un, for packing a wing because what? it was tangled and because there were a lot of them. What is the standard amount 40 for cents. unpacking a, a wing? <laughs> Actually, so the standard Some amount country. is 50 paces. I tipped them 500 paces, so 10 times the standard amount. Zach, I would like That's to know nice what 500 pesos comes to <laughs> there's, in there's, American there's, dollars. There's no need to look that up. And then I, <laughs> and then I, I want, sounds like a and very then, big number. And then I want you to divide that number into roughly 6 million U.S. dollars. <laughs> and, and I, see, that see what the percentage seven. would be. Kyle, uh, five, 500 pesos. <laughs> 500 pesos is $24. Total. Oh my total. god! <laughs> Which divides neatly by six. Well done, Woody. Thank you, Filthy. I have four <laughs> bucks of pigs. That's not even bad. Half but not, when you, as a not kid. when the uneducated children can't do basic mathematics. Dude, well, here's the other actually, part I wanted guy, to know. Do you speak any Spanish? I like no Spanish. Okay. Like, they, <laughs> presumably, did did they speak any English? No. Okay, so they maybe thought they're going to make bank out of this. We don't know. I, we don't know what they're saying. I had oh, a translator thanks. app. Oh, that um, I could type in English and then they could read in Spanish, okay. but they they couldn't read. Oh, so, no! yeah. so my translator app totally failed. I, I would like type it out. They like, I don't know, I don't know. And it's like, oh fuck, this is falling apart. So <laughs> all I could say is me llamo es Mateo. <laughs> And that that's was helpful for and... one second <laughs> <laughs> so we all did that like in, in a round table like me llamo es mateo me llamo es oscar me oh, llamo... No. tanya was one of my favorites um she kept making really silly mistakes and i didn't know how to but i'd be like tanya and everybody would laugh because i'm picking on tanya yeah. <laughs> flip her an extra quarter at the end <laughs> <laughs> but but check out my wing packers these guys are great with, with volume not a whole quarter Nickel. These guys are great. Oh, look at them play. Look at run through the, Look at those filthy. <laughs> <laughs> look at those filthy little children run through that field. And... These guys are great. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this is my wing sweet. packing team. Um, they were actually running and jumping because Woody had thrown pennies into the brush. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I didn't know, like, I, I don't know how to speak Spanish, like, at all. I guess that's the thing you're supposed to do before you go to Mexico, but I, <laughs> like, maybe brush up a little, know, like, where to fly. At least get an app that, that app that can maybe talk instead of just, like, yeah, yeah. Translate. I, I, it would have been nice if I had, like, a, 
that I could speak and then it would speak back. That that, that seems like a smart thing to find. I didn't do any of that. Um, <laughs> I just fucking sent it. Like, that was my whole strategy on this trip. Just fucking yeah. off the mountain and do your best. And not even just like a normal, like, didn't do any of that stuff. Like, what you did is take an, a kind of airplane, jump off a mountain, fly away from all the people who you might be able to communicate yes. with, and crash land in a rural area and just hope the the, the people around you are going to be able to deal with that, huh? Just hope. They're <laughs> friendly. No, no, no. Yeah, just, <laughs> keep it's in very mind. optimistic. Keep, keep in mind, he's hoping that, like, he hasn't crash landed into some sort of, like, Something he shouldn't be looking at, like or field or something. Right? I'm not even kidding. Like, a like, beautiful like, poppy field right here in the middle, right in the middle of Oz. I, I grew up in Maine, and uh, one one time we were uh, we were out just fucking around as kids in high school, right in cars or something. We came up, and we came down this dead end road that had like a fenced off area, and it was a fenced off field, and it was fucking pot, and we got shot at, and that yeah. was in that was in like the U.S. in Maine here i can only imagine what you could have fucked up in in mexico doing that so i'm kind I mean, of that's actually, weed. To, actually to be, <laughs> fair, to be fair though like like I, I don't think that they make any drugs in mexico besides methamphetamine and uh, marijuana that can't and marijuana is no i'm almost positive and, and marijuana is like legal now because because the cocaine comes from like i don't certain, think it's legal in mexico are you sure about that or yeah right? yeah they legalized oh, marijuana like okay. like last year or something like that I, um, good for I, them yeah, yeah, I'm like 99 percent sure. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> someone I, told I, me it wasn't, but I'm not, sure. not legal yet. I, I think it's Marijuana more of a counter. Yet. I think it's a bit of a countermeasure against the cartel, right? Because you like take away some, yeah. one of their one of their enterprises by legalizing. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know if I would have saw it if it was for sale. I did, I wasn't looking for it. Yeah. What's yeah. what's the rough like? How long were you up in the air for, Woody, for that jump? That jump, and then versus how long did it take you to get back? Out of curiosity, that flight was an hour. My best flight was just under three hours. Okay. Where oh, you, like, you were like, in the air, I'm, I'm trying to those hot spots for for three hours on your best one. So oh, forgive, so forgive me. I I, I, I want to like really like picture this trip. So you flew out of uh, Raleigh, I guess, to like Dallas where? Fort Worth, where they lost all my luggage. Yeah. yeah. So oh, you didn't start motor down there. No, I didn't. <laughs> 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 just forty mile you, hops. All I'm not gonna make it over the fence. I'll just, never make it over the fence. <laughs> you have no, like wings or sails or something for your paramotor, right, Woody? Do you have like it's? It looks just the same with a propeller on your back. Do you have a? Do you have what is your, what is your um? What's the decal on your um on your sails? Like, what do you have? Like, what's your What's your, what's your, what's what, how I know if I look up and I see a sail in the sky, how do I know it's Woody? What am I looking for? It's just a bunch of dollars. I, it's hard to spot me. I have like, <laughs> I don't even know how many wings I have now, like 11 or something like that. Like I, I just, I, if I want a, a wing that's, and it's different than what I have, I get that. And now they're just accumulating. Okay. You got like vanity plates. <laughs> like higher <laughs> than you. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I tend to do a lot of acro. So if the dude's just doing, if he looks like he's crashing, it's probably me. <laughs> it's a, I'm that guy. Um, so yeah, okay. I, so I don't speak any your, Spanish. They lose your luggage at Dallas Fort Worth. Okay. Um, how do you get to How do you get to Mexico? Like, is that a drive across thing or a you, so, you hop another no, flight? The stopover to, was at Dallas Fort Worth, tunnel. and then I flew into Mexico City. And I arrived at Mexico City. There was no luggage, so I stayed at a, a hotel there for two nights while I waited for my luggage to arrive. And I just walked around Mexico city in relatively dirty underwear. <laughs> and, um, but you know, like in good company, <laughs> <laughs> I had to process that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I don't know, like, it, it, like Jackie's at home, like, Oh man, that sucks, whatever. And I'm like, it doesn't suck. It's just a different vacation. I was going to check out Valley de Bravo. Now I'm checking out Mexico city. So I went to this like um, big church in the middle of Mexico city. And so I started walking around. I was on a mission to like get some pesos, um, eat lunch and just see the locals. I'm big for Mexico. Are Everyone's had this experience. Yeah. Oh, okay. Everyone's had this experience. Not everyone. But like you go to like Japan or something and you're like, I am a massive a human here. <laughs> Dude, I would see a, I was in a road with like 500 people in view in Mexico City. And I'm like, I think I'm literally the biggest guy here. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I don't see Was that an awesome person. feeling? I guess a little. Like, I, I'm like. Now Woody. You know what? I'm a little hard to kidnap. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, Woody, imagine how you'd have felt looking at all those 500 unarmed people if you'd had a gun. 
Mm. I don't, I don't think it's bold of you to assume they're unarmed. Mexico. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume they have a couple Glocks floating around Mexico. City. But I'm, I'm just like, I know this isn't the reality, but I'm having fun picturing Woody in like an American flag hat and, <laughs> and like a like a thin blue line shirt, no, no, wearing a fanny shirt pack. With, like build the wall as you yeah, walk down. Build the wall. <laughs> just, just like uh, the the walk around Mexico. City in a MAGA shirt challenge. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> impossible <yeah>. difficulty. <laughs> yeah, the half of them are girls, of course. But yeah, like I, I, I Americans are just bigger than Mexicans, it would seem. So it's that, gotta be was the opposite to as me. if you like like if you took a paragliding trip to Iceland. <laughs> yes. Oh, God, like, fucking Viking. Fuck, I'm I'm going back to Mexico. I need a little confidence boost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um Oh, so what's the next video? What did we watch? Two of them so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go so to slide number was, three. I knew the word taxi. So I just like, I'm like, taxi, taxi. I was asking them where to go. Hit play. Have you gotten clean underwear by this one? Yeah. I understand what my wing packing team was telling me. This is the way to the taxi. <laughs> I'm a little suspicious that they're right. <laughs> But I don't have any phone signal, so it's the best information I have. I was hiking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just trying to figure it out. No phone signal. Little Oscar just kind of pointed in a direction. And you're like, Oscar, I need yeah. you to understand this. Me llamo es Mateo. Me llamo es Oscar. Si, si. Oscar, I need you to listen to me because it's important. Me llamo es Mateo. <laughs> you gotta get me out of here, Oscar. My name is Matthew. <laughs> they, what they told me to like go down the road and turn left, and I had no idea what they were saying, but I did understand go down the road. When I got to the turn, they all started screaming, Mateo, Mateo. I turn around, all these kids like doing jumping jacks, and they're like, <laughs> that way. That way. <laughs> and those were the last directions I got. Oh, I was no. climbing through the woods. By the way, the, the altitude is like 8,000 feet you... in this part of Mexico. <laughs> I'm fucking exhausted. If you watch these videos, look for the vein on the yeah. side of the face. <laughs> <laughs> it's so huge. It's pulsing. Can I, when I was in Colorado for those two weeks, at like I think it's 5,000, almost exactly. Like it, You feel it. Like, like you definitely feel it because, but you know, we're smoking 8, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, like 8,000 is clearly like an incalculable uh, percentage more. Uh, I, I can't right. imagine. Like, like it, it's incalculable. But, uh, but no, you can't do that. So, so how long did you hike in altitude on the directions of an immigrant? Not an immigrant. And you're the immigrant. Yes, I um, am. Yeah, between three and four hours. It was so fucking steep and slippery. I'm on all <laughs> fours with that backpack. That's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm gonna need to stop you multiple times throughout this. Because... <laughs> Four hours. Right. That's good. Cool. Like you had, let, you let had just... down to the end of the road where you could see them, and then left. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Going four hours. Four hours. Yes. Like, so, so I need. I need. To, I need to understand the day <laughs> now. Like, like we got to rewind just a little bit. So, so let me understand yeah. this. You went out into the jungle and jumped off a mountain and went for a ride on your 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 thing, and and at some point you crash landed into a Mexican farmers Farm. or yes some peasants and. Then you you paid the children to fix your wing, and you were on your way, and you said, Mayama es Mateo, <laughs> and, and they said, see, and they pointed to the left, and you walked on that alone. Uh, hang on, let me... Re 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 did you see an adult? Were these children unattended, or did they have... One of them was an older teenager. How, what okay. would you estimate the was patriarch. the age of the <laughs> oldest individual that you 16, encountered? maybe. That was the one with no shoes. So you never saw the father or mother who so 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 that so so, so to, to the next night dad got home or mom presumably got home and they were like mateo came by he flew from the <laughs> sky and he gave us all this money and uh and uh i we gave said, the money to like a six-year-old and then i had to pantomime that it was to be shared because he was like <laughs> taking it in <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> That was like a week's worth right. of food for Pret one kid. <laughs> Pretend I'm little Oscar and explain to me that that 
the the meager wage that you've just given me it must be now split amongst all of my many you probably thought sisters. it was the first installment yeah. <laughs> Austin was like we're a little cheap but no he lost it I never so worked for this little <laughs> more but it was a 500 because you normally pay 50 I gave him 500 and you know what well 20 to 50 is the range I gave yeah. him 500 and uh um, I have more so he, he was already. like, oh, and, and everyone else is like, oh, and I'm like, split, split, because they were, they were, I, I think. He's saying, saying gather around to look at how much money he gave to just <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> look, everybody be jealous of Oscar is what he's saying. <laughs> he's saying, I gave that much to the tiniest of you. Just imagine the fortune I'll give. <laughs> I think, I think they were asking ask if it was tail. to be divided. <laughs> and, and I was saying, see. And, you know, so <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm hiking through the woods. I, I, it's steep. What? What is the what are, how many videos have we watched please Three tell me there's a number of you because i would love to see your optimism when you just finished you know paying the kids everyone's like waving you off and like you got your wing versus two and a half hours in Three and a half hours. In. I, I just want to see. You were taking video. Uh, I three and a half hours. In the lied. I didn't <laughs> upload, but um, like you just see me. Like I took a couple breaks in those mm. in that hiking period because I I was winded and and it'd be like an uphill section made worse by the fact that it was uphill and muddy, and I just you know sat down and sort of chilled and stuff. I thought that I had water. I remember buying water. When I got back home, I saw exactly where I set the water down. But for the hike itself, there was no water. And that would have been nice. That's horrible. You could have died. I'm um, self efficacy. Dude, man. if if they would have told me, well said. But if they, <laughs> if, they, if they would have told me if I was in your position, they're like, see a four hour hike up the hill, I'd be like, I'm your new brother Taylor. <laughs> I'm gonna live here with you and lose some weight. And then when I'm, in shape, <laughs> when I'm in better shape, I'm gonna make the march up the four hour hill. <laughs> and you just never do. You become an do. old man there eating pizza rice. I'm, I'm quickly like sneaking food at night. Like, <laughs> Silly Taylor thinks you don't food. even like beans. And I'm just you only like, got twenty four dollars, Taylor. How much food do you think there is? <laughs> so, okay, we're so like, where's that twenty four dollars, Mateo? So here's what. <laughs>